Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It is time for a whip and chat and I'm working on Victoria's Moon, the lion picture. It's the uh, kit they gave to me for reviewing. So I'm like somewhere between a third and halfway through. Uh, so it's been working up very, very fast, considering that uh, when I finished Arya Stark, I was kind of tired of diamond painting and didn't feel, feel it. Let me see how it looks in the camera view. Yeah, I think that's okay. Um, because when I was done with Arya Stark, I started working with my, um, the, the, my first one, the wolf and the woman, um, and the drills were so bad, so I just, it wasn't fun anymore. <clears throat> so I didn't feel like diamond painting anymore and I just started doing some other uh, crafts which was fine uh, I think I needed that and as I said Cal told me you know it's okay to put the that diamond painting aside and just you know, do something else. I did, and I have my fish, my cover minder from uh, Rachel Ray. Yeah, um, so I did that, and then I just decided to, yeah, put it aside. I might throw it away uh, and just st start with the, the victorious moon. And yeah, then I felt, the, I felt the groove again, you know. I really enjoyed uh, diamond painting this lion. The colors are wonderful. It's round drills, so it's super fast. And it's a nice canvas. The drills are nice, not perfect, but not bad either. Um, so I'm really enjoying working on this. And I think it was Rebecca who gave me some advice on leaving uh, the glue open. So now, when I just uh, remove the cover paper, the glue is very sticky. So, but you leave, if you leave it open for, you know, a while, you can take a short walk with the dogs or something. The glue ain't that bad. I just have a loose drill here. I'm not sure if it's a popping drill or if it's just that I haven't pushed it out properly. So, and I really enjoy this pen, uh, especially I'm not using this. I only use this end if like I've missed a symbol and I just need to pick up a single drill. Then I use this end and just pull some up. I think that works pretty nice, but the very thin uh, side is really nice for the round drills, but <clears throat> I press kind of hard so my glue runs out quite fast. Yes, and I did have a um, a legend printed out on some paper. It was not 
good quality whatsoever. And now the legend is on the top left side of the canvas, which is a very nice legend. But now it's rolled up, so I can't see it. So I've taken a picture of the legend and I have it on my phone. And that works just fine. But I am going to uh, tell uh, Victoria's Moon that uh, a proper, um, not a legend, but a proper uh, inventory sheet would be very useful. So now I'm going to do the hearts and that's color 939 and um, that's the color where there is most drills and uh, yeah. So I've been living not the 310 life, but the 939 life. And I don't mind. Not at all. So this week has been it's uh, Halloween week, if you can call it that. Um, we don't celebrate Halloween, but all students, all kids in Sweden have this week off. So I took the opportunity to take vacation and be home with my daughter. Uh, so that has been really, really nice. I don't get me wrong. I love to work. Um, I sometimes spend more time at work than I do at home. Well, I think most people do. Uh, and I didn't have any uh, we usually have like four weeks of vacation in summer and I didn't do that because, well, I wanted to work. So I only had some days, uh, like Mondays or Fridays together with the weekend. So I had just a long weekend. So I took a whole week to spend with my daughter and just to spend time on being, you know, creative and it's been awesome. It feels like I've been off for a month. I've been diamond painting, I've been painting, I've been doing mixed media, you know, my mask uh, for Halloween. Um, and that was awesome. I'm so happy I did that. And uh, I've gotten back to cross-stitching today. I was actually, while I was uh, listening to Mrs. Coffee and Crochet's Saturday, no, Friday night live show, I was uh, just stitching for those. I think she's on like for three hours. Yeah. That was really nice. It's so relaxing to cross stitch. So I really enjoy that. Yeah. And I even went for a run yesterday. I haven't been running since this summer. I haven't felt, you know, the motivation. But then all of a sudden I did. And it just has to be that I'm having some vacation. So 
So it's been a great, 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 great <laughs> week. Yeah. And yeah, I've spent some time with my daughter as well. Uh, we went to the movies twice. Um, so we, I think I mentioned that last week's Whip and Chat. We went to see a Swedish movie. And then on Wednesday, the day before Halloween, we went to see the Adams Family uh, animated movie. And yeah, I, I was very disappointed actually. I, I, I had higher hopes for it, but we did that at least. And then, yeah, we had some, we, we watched quite a quiet place at home and she just loved uh, the amount of uh, it was it's not a very scary movie but it's a little bit scary so she asked if she could watch Stranger Things and I said sure let's let's start out with season one and I had seen uh, season one and most part of season two so and <laughs> she hasn't been doing anything else since she started watching that series. She totally fell in love with the character of Eleven. So she's been actually also diamond painting and watching Stranger Things over and over <laughs> and over again. Yeah. So yeah, we've been watching a lot of movies, or at least she has. So I've been like in the background checking. So she's fine and all this. So yeah. Um, yeah, and I actually ordered two hand dyed fabrics. One for my uh, Stitch Your Own Adventure, the Harry Potter, Harry Potter thing. Uh, it's called Letters from Hogwarts, I think. And that's a surprise fabric. So I actually don't know how it's going to look. So I'm very, very uh, excited about that. And at the same time, I ordered another hand dyed fabric for uh, the design, which is called Squirrels of Sumatra. And I ordered, like, I think it's a greenish olive kind of uh, fabric and it's a 28 even weave. And first I thought I was just gonna, you know, look what kind of brownish uh, color that would work well with that um, fabric. But then when I looked closer to the pattern or to the design, I saw that um, the thread uh, they'd been using uh, were shifting in different browns. And then I realized that the silk thread they used, I guess, are also hand dyed in some way. And it's shif shifting. So, yeah. Now I need to order that. But then I needed some help um, figuring out you know, it said I needed like 25 yards for one ply over two threads of a 36 count. And then I was thinking, do they mean that because the silk thread I'm thinking about, which uh, the design calls for, it's 
six yards and there's 12 threads so to me that's like 72 yards and you need 25 so it should be enough with one skein but i wasn't certain and then i wanted to ask the question on facebook but the cross stitching groups i'm in are uh, design specific groups so you're not allowed to ask those questions and I didn't know which group I could join to ask you know any random cross stitch question so I asked on Rachel Ray's live show this Saturday and Pippa my savior uh, offered to help so I had a little chat with her and she helped me out so that's really nice I'm so glad thank you very much I know you're not watching but if you would watch thank you thank you thank you so I'll be ordering that a skein costs around eight dollars and I haven't found a place in Europe who sells that color I want. I want the color Acorn. So um, I'm hoping that 123stitch.com are allowed to ship that brand to Europe. Because... You're not allowed to buy DMC threads from them anymore. So sad. So I hope so. But so eight dollars for a skein is is fine. Uh, it's a lot of money, yes. But if you know, if I only need one, then that's no problem at all. So yeah. What else? What else? What else? Yeah, so I tried out the Pattern Keeper app for uh, my Heaven and Earth design, which I stitched on today. And <clears throat> I'm releasing a movie, a video. Uh, where I'm showing the app and some of the functions, the ones that I know of. Um, it's going to be released, not this coming week, but the next. And uh, yeah, it, it's a very nice app. And I'm so happy that someone out there is actually, you know, creating this awesome pattern keeper for us crazy stitchers um, however there is one there's two things which I think that the app is missing and maybe si since it's still a beta version I hope that uh, it's gonna come in the future it's an undo button so you can mark off all the stitches you've done but if you find out that you have stitched something wrong then you can't undo those mark markings in the app on the pattern and to be to me that is not good at all unfortunately i haven't heard of anyone who hasn't you know frogged so i don't like that i will just hope that i don't make any mistakes or in worst case scenario i will just have to open up uh, the pattern on 
easy PDF or something while I'm, you know, correct, correcting the mistake. Uh, the other thing is that the pages aren't, um, you can't see if it's page one or five or 12, and you can't see which number of uh, column it is, you know, or which stitch. So in the patterns, you know, it starts with the first column up to the left, it's one to 10, and then it's like 11 to 20. And same thing downwards. And you don't have those numbers as well, which I think is pretty important to have when you're cross country stitching. So I would say that maybe the app is better for the parking method. I don't know. Maybe. I will have to try. I do have some projects where I actually park um, because uh, before, you know, when I started out with head for, from the beginning, I parked and I have done that for years. So I'm just new to the cross country. I think I started that like last year, but I enjoyed more actually. And especially that extreme cross country. You know, you have no threads in the way or anything. You don't have to switch colors. You just, it's, it goes pretty fast. But yeah, this is a nice canvas. I'm not sure I've, um, if I remember, if I can find it, uh, I will put up a picture of my progress of the line so far. And you can see yourself if you think the picture is blurry. Um, so I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not really sure. I think it's a little bit blurry. If you compare to the thumbnail. Uh, but I'm not sure. It's, it's not too bad, really. I'm happy with it. I'm really happy about it, actually. I'm, I'm looking forward to try more of the Victoria's Moons. But um, I've seen on their webpage that they always have a 50% sale. And if they would end that sale, I would not pay the price, the full price. I'm just saying, I wouldn't do that. Um, I think that's uh, too much for a diamond painting. So but the prices they have now is okay. And, oh yeah, I, I need to try a square painting from them as well. I'm just, uh, with the bad experience I have with uh, how bad it can be from some companies. I'm not saying everyone is like that. I'm not saying that Victoria's Moon is like that, uh, but some are and how unpleasant it is to do the diamond paintings when it's bad drills or a bad canvas. So I'm a bit um, hesitant with uh, squares from unknown companies or that are known to be not 100 positive feedback. Does anyone have 100% feedback, positive feedback? I don't know. So, 
So, did you guys see my awesome Halloween mask I made? I'm gonna show you because I'm very proud of it. And it's inspired by the art of Dee Dee Willingham. So, I've also uh, varnished it, that's why it's so shiny. And I painted the back black. <clears throat> Very pleased with it. All right. Um, Ooh, I received uh, my glitter bomb as well from Rachel Ray. And I actually think I unboxed it on one of my watercolor videos. I think I forgot to put that in this, the description or something. But girl, she sure surprised me in this package. She did that last time too. Uh, oh my god i got these key rings diamond paintings they were so cute um i'm really looking forward to doing that one it it had they had special drills as well so uh, i think i'm gonna do those together with my daughter one day maybe like around christmas when we're off work uh and then uh, she had a cover minder. It was a white little sheep. So last time I got a big one, a black sheep. No, a black sheep, not cheap, sheep. Very cute. So I put a magnet on the back to make a cover minder of that. So. But this time it was a smaller but a white one and it already was made into a cover binder. Really cute. So it was a great glitter bomb. <laughs> so yeah. Whoops. Or going away. Um, I haven't ordered any new diamond paintings. And first, I thought I was gonna wait for for the eleventh of November. But then, when I saw like the companies I want to order from. You know, I thought it was going to be like a huge sale, like a 40% off, but it's not, it's more like, it was like five bucks off and I'm like, okay, well, of course it's money you can save, but for me, those <clears throat> That saving isn't worth, well, I can imagine that a lot of people are ordering stuff on the 11th. So I guess it would take some time for the package to arrive. And I'm not sure it's worth those savings. And some people say that you shouldn't <clears throat> order. No, some theory is that the diamond paintings uh, uh, it, it, the coldness when transporting the diamond paintings from, you know, China to Europe or to the States isn't good. So I guess it's better just to hold on 
gonna wait for ordering until it gets you know a little bit warmer again and you know a hiker on cold coffee crafts <laughs> she uh, told us on Rachel Ray's live that uh, she lives in Germany so that big sale 11 11 last year were on the news in Germany and they were showing like the mountains of packages waiting to be shipped off and I'm like holy moly I know I don't know if it's worth it I'm not no I don't know maybe maybe one there is one on cuff w key i've had it in my cart for quite some time but since i can't you know um be satisfied with ordering a smaller kit i always want the largest you can get it kind of costs a little bit, so I've been holding it off. Yeah. But let's not be negative. I'm so thrilled about this canvas. That it's fast and easy and the colors are amazing. can't believe I went for a run yesterday. I'm all sore today and I love that feeling. So yeah. So what did you guys think about the new release uh, from Diamond Art Club? The Christmas tree with a uh, what you shiny in the dark uh, drills, the special drills. I liked it. It was very nice. But then I was thinking, do I really? really want to diamond paint a tree it's just a tree and no i don't i think i would be very bored so i didn't order it but there's still one there is one kit i have to have i have to order it soon um it's the is it jojo's art uh, it's the one uh, Jeremy has on his wall. You know, the one with the two wolves, howling wolves. Oh, it's so nice. You know, I really didn't like it that much until I saw it finished on Jeremy's channel. I was like, what? I gotta have that one. And that's like the last one I have, which I really 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 want i have more in my wish list but i don't feel i need them and then i'm waiting on two designs i'm hoping 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 that diamond art club will release soon it's two of mandy Monsanos. Mm, what do you well, it's the Red Lady from Game of Thrones. It's so beautiful. So, so, so beautiful. Imagine if they had, if they haven't already released, but I don't think so. Red AB Diamonds. That would be so nice. And I think the other one is called I Know You. I thought it was Cinderella, but it's actually um, 
Aurora. Sleeping Beauty. Yeah. So when I saw that it was Sleeping Beauty, I was like, nah, not that important anymore. I wanted a nice Cinderella uh, diamond penny. And the ones that Diamond Art Club already have designed made as a diamond painting. I don't think they do a Cinderella justice. Yeah. Anyway. I just feel it's been happening so much this week, but I guess it hasn't. It's been so nice just to, you know, be home. Waking up when I wake up, no alarms. Letting my daughter sleep, you know, doing lots of YouTube videos. And just really have time for all the hobbies I want to do right now. There is just one more thing I didn't have time to do. And that's paint by numbers. I really, really want to do that. But I don't, I think I want to do like I've done with the Inktober, a time lapse. I would really like to do uh, the, the paint, paint by numbers as time lapse. I think that looks so cool. And talking about Inktober, yes, I cannot believe I followed through 31 days with sketching and I made a time lapse for each day. I'm pretty proud of myself. And there were a few of them, which I really think I did good. And some were just uh, not so good. So now I just have to, you know, I can't stop sketching. I need to start, you know, schedule it in some way where I sketch and then I want to paint. So I need to mix those two things. So the glue, no, the wax is already finished in my pen. So either I'm pressing too hard or this glue, no wax, sucks. Yes, and I said that I will not do Inktober again. Well, maybe I will sketch, but not film. But we'll see. It's a whole year until next time. So we'll see. And I still don't know how to send live. So the thought of joining the DPathon in January next year is like off the... It's difficult to, to do, you know, to apply to be one of the hosting channels when you don't know how to send live. And I don't know if I would be able to handle uh, the chat in English and entertaining people at the same time. Oh, I saw... Mm, when was that? Was that Rachel Ray's, uh, it was her whip and shed. Was it Thursday or Wednesday? I don't remember. It was this week's uh, whip and shed anyway. She, oh, it was on Halloween, so it was Thursday. Uh, she went out to different places where she lives, in the area she lives. 
and it was graveyards and stuff and ruins and castles it was so cool and i can't forget that she said you know that the green the grass is always green on ireland it doesn't get brown it always it's always green and i was like oh <laughs> wow and I just saw the area. I'm not. I'm sure you don't have the law like we do in Sweden that everyone is allowed to camp wherever they want. But I could just imagine, you know, putting up my tent on those, you know, hills and just. Oh, it was so beautiful. Oh my god. And. I really wish that more of the YouTubers, the creators out there did those kinds of videos. I know it's a vlog type, but somehow you get to know the creator a little bit more. Uh, I know there are some of them out there who uh, does some of those videos, I think. can it? Is it Mindy who's doing her farm videos? But anyway, um, the creators become more than just a pair of hands doing something on YouTube. So it's really nice. I really enjoyed it. And what's so cool also about with Rachel is that she reads up on the story she wants to tell. So It makes it so much more interesting as well, right? Yeah. Yeah, so... I've been watching some TV as well. Me and my daughter, we have some series on Swedish TV that we enjoy to watch. But there is one series where they have some famous people and they're going to climb the Lubuchi Peak uh, over in the Himalayas. So it's one of the peaks beside Everest. And oh my god. It's so beautiful. It's so, you know, it's so awesome. It, those mountains are just so respectful. Oh, it's a, yeah, it's too bad it's not an, an American uh, series. Um, so. I shouldn't talk about it because no one of you guys can see it anyways. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, I'm done with the with the 9.39. It goes so fast. It's amazing. And cold coffee. Yum. Well, I actually don't have much more to tell you than this week has been just crafting and just enjoying being off work and I'm off tomorrow tomorrow's Monday uh, but my daughter is off to school so I'm getting up early and yada 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 so and then it's back to normal um, I'm sure there's something I forgot I don't have any crazy funny stories to tell. I'll be releasing, there's an unboxing on Monday. There's a watercolor video on Tuesday. On Thursday, this is the whip and chat. And 
maybe I'll be doing some kind of impromptu video later in the week. Uh, maybe I should do some more mixed media or more watercolor. I don't know. Um, and the cross stitch video is re being released in week 46. So, um, thank you everyone for subscribing. Um, it's very appreciated. So yeah, um, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe, because then I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.